What is good y'all and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger. As you guys can see, you got all my brother's merch, Forever Love. Make sure y'all go hit up at Shop Forever Love on Instagram, man. Y'all go check him out. Yeah, he got all the hoodies, the joggers, the sweatpants, the t-shirts, anything you need, bro. Bro can get it. Any color you want, bro can get it, man. Y'all go hit him up for sure. Anyway, back to the topic of this video. You guys see the title, you see the thumbnail. This is not a video that you would typically see on my channel um you know what i mean it's something different but let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory before i go ahead and roll the clip the screen recording and really just expose this man's for catfishing bro okay so basically my homeboy cash posted on his instagram that some dude stole his car right I know it makes no sense right how do you you know what i mean how like not physically rob the vehicle but on social media got a little, got a little underpass yeah. 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 Sheesh. <laughs> let me roll those back up <laughs> but nah anyway okay so basically he posted on his Instagram that some dude was catfishing him, right? Now, like, what do you mean catfishing, right? Like, he stole his identity? Nah, bro. Bro legit went on Facebook and made a Facebook account and is telling people that he owns my bro's cash. I know you guys remember him if you guys have been around for a while. I shot a video of his car on the channel. The last time I went back home, I put a card up. You guys can go ahead and check it out. But he has the 6th Gen Camaro SS that he turned into a Z011 LE. As far as the cosmetic goes, he has legit every single piece that you could ever put um, that comes directly from the ZL11 LE. Like he did like the legit, the front bumper, the wing, the high wing spoiler, the uh, front splitter, the canards, like everything, the carbon fiber hood, like bro, everything to the T, he did. So basically, this dude is out here acting like that car is his, right? So on Facebook, and it's not just it's not just like it's his car only, like my buddy Cash. So my buddy Cash, he has some friends who have Hellcat Challengers, right? The dude took those cars too, fam. Like legit. And he's going around. It's different when, you know what I mean? That's like your dream car. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, it doesn't matter to have it like on your lock screen or your, you know, the background, your heading on Facebook or whatever the case may be. Cause that's your dream car, you know what I mean? You're 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 trying to get that car, you know. That's your goal that you're trying to achieve is owning that car. So of course, you know, having it as your lock screen or having it as your cover picture or whatever the case may be would make sense because you know what I mean. You want to get that car. Wow, they got my ass blocked off the entire road back there. So now I gotta back up into oncoming traffic. Wow, this is so. back to what i was saying um you know what i mean like it's different when you're setting that as a goal for yourself but this dude legit is telling people that those cars are his and it's not only like that's not the worst part the worst part is bro doesn't even know what kind of camaro it is you feel me he's telling people that it's an actual zl1 and that it has 980 wheel horsepower 980 wheel horsepower so <laughs> what i did was bro you know what i mean i turned into a troll um for once in my life and i hit up bro and i was like hey you know what i mean like love your car and all this and that and i started asking him questions and asking him for pictures and stuff like that and bro this is this is what bro was telling me i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna roll the uh, screen recording now
yeah bro like legit said 980 to the wheel said it was a zl1 said he was on a drag pack because I asked him, I'm like, bro, if it's 980, how are you on stock, stock tires, bro? Like, don't you just burn them every time you do a pull? And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 I took my drags off. I'm like, oh, okay, you got to pick with the drag. Like, as you guys saw, like, just capping, bro. Like, even I asked him to send me a picture of the engine bay, you feel me, so I can see the blower. Bro, he sends me a picture that Cash legit has on his Instagram. Like, for real, bro, it's He's just taking pictures off of my buddy Cash's Instagram and posting them on Facebook and posing as if the vehicles are his. And it's just like, bro, it's not, it is never that serious. You feel me? You should never do nothing like that. Like, bro, it ain't never that deep. You feel me? So I just thought, you know, I might, I was just going to expose them on IG. But then my homeboys told them, look, look, look at their reaction. We're about to get their reaction right now when I drop this bitch. When I drop this bitch. Oh, they didn't even see that. But anyway, like I was originally just gonna post it on Instagram and get on his app, get on him like that on Instagram. But y'all, I put a poll up and y'all said y'all wanted me to make a video, so that's what I did. It's ridiculous, I know, I can't believe it myself. I'm about to run into Costco real quick. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so back in the car now, I got everything we needed for. Costco pulling off. I have to head to my aunt's house. But yeah, man, moral of this moral of this story in this video, like bro, don't be that guy. You know what I mean? It's cool if you want the car and you like the car, you know what I mean? And that's one of your goals and aspirations to one day be able to afford and buy one of those cars, you know what I mean? But like bro, don't be the guy who posts on social media somebody else's vehicle because like honestly at the end of the day all that's gonna happen is you're gonna end up getting clowned you feel me maybe it'll be by me maybe by one of your own peers you know what i mean or you never know but like or the person who owns the vehicle at the end of the day bro like if it ain't yours bro don't flex like it is because the truth always comes out just like i said in um, another one of my videos um, You know what I mean People always show their true colors Like It is what it is bro People are gonna find out And when people do You know what I mean It's not gonna be All smiles Fun And games for you Because you're gonna be the one Getting roasted Because you're pretending Like you have a car That you don't And then on top of that You don't even know The specs Of the vehicle It's like bro you know what I mean? Dog, just pull up your pants, bro. You feel me? Like, bro is pushing the bends right now, straight down there. But he's sagging so hard. It's like, what the fuck? What? I don't know, bro. That's another thing. Like, if you're going to sag, you feel me? Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That's on you. Um... But like, bro, you're pushing the car right now and your pants are about to fall off. Don't you think you should pull them up just a little bit? You know what I mean? I don't know. It is what it is, bro. But um, I hope, you feel me? I hope this car is cool. I hope he's cool. You know what I'm saying? I hope they straight and shit like that. Let me see if I can get the baby. Yo, can I go? This thing. He gonna look at me. I'm going still. I don't give a fuck. Especially because this truck right here. Yeah. But anyway, you feel me? Like, it just don't make no sense. That shit crazy. But yeah, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>